Good morning, Joe Walker here at Glen Echo. It's Wednesday morning, and I'm out uh, spreading a little uh, potassium out on the fairways today. Uh, spread uh, the front nine uh, the other day, and uh, doing the back nine this morning. We've got to still have to do tees and some of the zoysia areas around uh, the greens. Do a little walk spreading with the approaches. Uh, potassium helps with winter hardiness. Will hopefully get us uh, through the winter unscathed, at least on the on the uh, zoysia side. I'm out here uh, to show you a little bit of the spraying we had done in the last week on the uh, Bermuda grass, and it's very obvious uh, what's going on here uh, with the spray. And there's also a, a couple areas on this fairway that I didn't spray, so I just wanted to show you the difference. We're uh, out here in the middle of the fairway looking back at the tee now, and, and you can see all these reddish reddish spots. It is Bermuda grass that was sprayed. And these areas are, um, some of these were still a little bit hurt from uh, from the spray in the middle of August. But I decided to go ahead and make my last spray um, the middle of September this year. Last year I made it around the 1st of October, and it was just a little bit harsh on the zoysia, so We've uh, got some pretty good weather here in the next few weeks, and uh, it'll allow the zoysia to. Um, the zoysia is affected a little bit by the uh, the chemical application, but it's uh, tolerant of the material. As you can see, the Bermuda is not tolerant at all. It doesn't like it. But um, you can kind of see the lines here of where I sprayed and where I didn't spray. Right here is a line. And you can see the Bermuda there is a little bit thin, and that was from the August spray. And here, this is the uh, September application. Now, some of these areas, you know, you can see spots of zoysia through, but other areas are not. So one of the things I'll probably do next season, I'll put a little bit more money in the budget uh, for zoysia sod. And uh, we'll also use some off our nursery. Um, but we'll do some, uh, probably some additional sodding. We've also got some pretty serious uh, issues along our intermediates, uh, especially the left side of 10 and some other areas where the contamination is is almost just uh, complete total. So in some of those areas, we might go ahead and, and make a, a Roundup application and, and go ahead and, and spray those out and then replace those. Uh, but those are some pretty long areas, and we could get into some uh, pretty extensive uh, dollar amounts replacing the zoysia with zoysia so uh, we might do a little bit at a time and uh, might might end up doing maybe a strip and then we can spray around the strips and allow it to continue to grow out and, and do it that way and we might also go into some other areas and uh, replace it total but we're going to be pretty conservative with what we do but you can see back along this line here see my spray line and this Bermuda here um, you know is a little thinner it it probably won't get affected nearly as much as what this will over the winter, but uh, it still could get affected. Here's some of the finer leaf Bermuda that we have, and those spots up there are actually dry, dry spots. Um, that's not from the spray. But on the upper side here, I didn't. I'm, uh, my, I ran out uh, the material, and I decided to go ahead and leave these spots alone and kind of use those as checks. But anyway, uh, we're pretty aggressive with our application. We've probably probably sprayed 20 acres of material out of the 25, 26 acres of fairways we have. So uh, trying to get all, especially all the thinner areas where there's a little less Bermuda, uh, but then also some of these bigger patches and want to get them an opportunity to get hit a little bit. But it's a great fall day. Hopefully have a lot of people out the rest of the week. Got 80 degrees coming up, trying to get the greens a little firmer. We top dressed um, and sprayed some material uh, on the greens, uh, sprayed a fertilization material and also um, a uh, POA uh, suppressant material and also a growth regulator for the bent grass. So you'll notice the greens will probably uh, be regulated here in the next few days and we'll be rolling the rollout will be pretty good so but anyway have a great day I'm gonna go finish the rest of these fairways see you later